Hey guys, Tech Mini here, also known as Matthew Avera, and today we have a very little bit different reaction to react to today. And a person last year reached out to me in the name of Sekdan, and he wanted me to basically react to one of his songs. And Sekdan, your time has come to shine, bud. And um, basically, I'm just going to be reacting to one of your songs, and it is called My Love. The song is a minute and 42 seconds, and I listened to it, and I picked it for a reason, and I'll explain it later. So I picked this My Love one, which is a minute and 42 seconds, because um, it has a story behind it that I sort of, um, sort of, re like, relate to. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So basically, Sekdan, to you personally, before I start, I'm only reacting to this one, only this one, and um, I won't be reacting to any more of yours, no offense, because I have 21 now reactions to react to, and then I have more Morissette, or oh, I forgot how you pronounce her name, and then Darren Espanol, so I have a lot of reactions to do, and um, basically, this is the only time I'm going to be doing it to you, I'm saying it to you only. Uh, for the rest of y'all, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a minute and 42 seconds. And without further ado, let's listen to My Love. I do like the guitar. <laughs> What I will say Girl, I know that you ain't no game But I know that we've been to the same That's it? <laughs> now, I do have a few comments for you, Sekdan, and people who are watching. Um, you can go ahead and comment down below, whatever. The lyrics were really good, in my opinion. Um, I would say if it's crap, sorry for being harsh, but I would say if it's crap and it's not crap, the lyrics are very nice. Um, I can tell by your accent that you're not mainly English. I hope that's, I'm not like throwing shade or you know what I'm talking about, but um, basically I can tell that you're not really English. I'm just going to be pointing this out to you by this is nowhere near a professional type of recording. This is probably like me in a bedroom somewhere. You can tell there's a little bit of white noise. You can tell it's here and there. And Sekdan to you, this was a pretty good song in my opinion. Um, there's a lot I could criticize about this song in pros and cons. That's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to explain to you the pros and cons so you can do better on your next song or in the future. And for those who are not sect in, I'm sorry this is um, not really directed to you, but you can comment down below and tell your opinion to him. Be nice. Don't throw shade at anything. If I see a nasty comment, I will be deleting it. So just don't throw any shade. He's, he's doing pretty well considering. 
All right, Sec Dan, here are the pros. So the song lyrics were really good. I really liked the story behind them. Um, I can relate to a little bit of the lyrics, not like totally, but I can relate to it. And I really do like songs that I can relate to. And I can tell you right now in the modern world and pop that people um, make millions off of songs I cannot relate to, seriously. And that says a lot considering because there's a lot of, as I said, there's a lot of songs in this industry of pop and hip hop that I cannot relate to at all. And they just talk about personal stuff that happened to them. And I can't really relate to that. And this song, I can relate to it on some sort of level. Second thing, I do like the guitar riff. It was really good. It's not that type of riff that gets annoying and it's just repetitive like in a modern song in hip hop that just repeats. It changes towards the second verse. You add like a bass line, you add like a hi-hat in some kind um, and other things, which is good. All right, now to the cons. So I can tell that there is white noise in it. I could tell that you aren't, um, no offense, buddy, but I could tell you are not um as of an english native english unless you're not pronouncing your words correctly um that can happen to a lot of people try to pronounce your words because i did get lost in a few i i understand i do not pronounce words correctly sometimes and i don't like i slur my words a lot try to practice your english i hope you don't get offended of that <laughs> now to the beat and the like overall sound um i could tell it was a lacking a lot of stuff i feel like there should have been much more stuff there i can't really explain it i can just tell there was lacking of something there um probably a few instrument type things um because there was basically the hi-hat the or the lead part which is the guitar and i can tell there wasn't any harmonies so maybe that's what i'm trying to f maybe that's what i'm feeling the harmonies were lacking there wasn't anything there so I feel like that song could have more potential um, if you add it a little bit more. But of course, it's out now. If you want to redo it, you could. There's nothing wrong with that. Basically, I can tell this was recorded in your room or just something like your phone or something. Um, eventually, you will get there when you get like a condenser microphone, a good audio interface, um, unless you do have it. And if you want for me to help you, because I really want you to do better and I feel like your songs have potential with what I critiqued you on. Um, if you want, and I'm saying this to anybody that wants to make music and doesn't know how to like mix properly and doesn't have really good DAW, like Audacity or using like a free like DAW, which is like um, Reaper or something. Um, Recently, I became certified as a Pro Tools user, as it said in a few videos ago, and I am certified in Pro Tools, which is like a industry standard program, which I'm actually recording on right now for this audio. So, Sec Dan, I'm talking to you, buddy. If you want me to mix your stuff, um, go to my channel, get my email. It's in the about section. You can get my email, shoot me an email, send your audio stuff, preferably, there you go. That's the word. Export it out to 24 bit, 48 um, kilohertz or K basically. So 48, 24 bit um, and do it as wave MP3 is compressed. So if you can export it as a wave and then you do MP3, combine it together, there's a significance. So just um, export it as a wave. And if you want, shoot me an email with those. Tell me what to do and I'll mix it for you because I'm certified. And basically all this winter break, I have not even used Pro Tools except for now. So have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. And I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below. And you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry. This was um, a long video and it wasn't directly towards 
Discord um, and audience specifically. Go ahead, guys, and check out Suck Dan's um, stuff. Suck Dan's channel will be in the description box below so you guys can check it out and what he has. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is the Tech Manny Cinema. See you later.